The joy of the Lord is our strength. My name is Leon Elson. I want to speak to you today about, uh, or begin to speak to you about the Beatitudes, uh, the forerunners on the Sermon on the Mount. The one thing that is certain is that God wants us to come into a place where we lay the foundation for those things that Jesus have commanded us in the Sermon on the Mount. And unless we get the Beatitudes right, uh, we will never be able to succeed in God's expectation in terms of fruit bearing, because this is what it is. You see, we've spoken previously about the fact that we cannot earn our salvation. It is but by grace. But the result of grace is that because I'm committed, I want to please God. And, and the only way that I can please God is to be obedient to him. Uh, to do the things that he actually commands us to do. That's always part of a covenant. Uh, God promised and I do my part. In the middle when we meet, the miraculous begins to happen. Now I want to speak to you on the Beatitudes. The Ten Commandments uh, deals with, with actions. But the Beatitude deals with our attitude. So the attitude in the next eight parts of the beatitude uh, is very important uh, it's the way we we look at things and the way we react uh, that pleases God so we are looking at the guidance that God through the Holy Spirit wants to give us we need to be uh, wary of it that God all the time want to impart through his Holy Spirit into our lives guiding us leading us into safety as we've heard previously now, the right attitude will always produce the right action. So I want to encourage you. Uh, if you uh, have the right attitude, hardly anything is impossible. And you'd be amazed what you can achieve because of that. So the question that we need to ask and, and uh, maybe just answer uh, in your own heart uh, is this one. Is our faith authentic? Is it real or is it just become a habit and religion? Uh, now, if it is authentic and real, it means it's dynamic. In other words, there's growth there. You should be somewhat further down the line in terms of the spiritual experience than what you were last year this time, if you are serious with God. Time are running out. We need to get to that place of acknowledging God for who He truly is in our lives, Lord of Lords, and king of kings. Someone once concluded that the opposite of the word beatitude in the Bible is not unhappiness, but rather curse. And that's true. If you can't be blessed, then you are cursed. We need to get to that place where God can actually say, blessed are those, blessed are you for what you are doing. The beatitudes is always about sanctification. It is getting to that place to be holy before the Lord. It's about how we grow as a Christian. Now I want to close with this scripture in Galatians 2.20 for today uh, to encourage you about your attitude, where you should be standing. The scripture makes this statement. It says, Galatians 2.20, My old self has been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. So I live in this earthly body by trusting in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. And that first part of this verse, very, very important. It says, my old self has been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I that live, but Christ that live in me. So I want to encourage you, if Christ then lives in you, let's get our attitude right. Let us be more Christ-like. And when we get to see what God thinks about attitudes, you would be absolutely amazed, but also very much encouraged. May the Lord bless you. May he keep you. May you experience his grace through the course of this day. Amen.